hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in the previous video tutorial you know that we allow a user to select any image from his mobile phone gallery and then the user can crop that image okay or you can say also the user can flip uh, the image horizontally and vertically so whenever the user click on the uh, crop image then it will crop that image and it will uh, store that image uh, you can see this profile image up, uh, uploaded successfully so the image is uploaded successfully now if i show you the firebase storage then you can see that this is the image which we uh, uploaded to the firebase storage successfully so now in this video tutorial if you have not watched the previous video tutorial then please go and watch the previous video tutorial first the link will be available in the description down below so now in this video tutorial first of all what we will be doing is that we will uh, get the link of this profile image and we will store this image uh, reference inside the firebase database and then we will display the image back to the user here on this settings activity so let's do that so come here to the android studio and in the previous video tutorial we left here okay where if we upload the image to the firebase storage then we display this message to the user so now here what we're gonna do final string download url equals to task dot get result dot get download url dot to string so in this way we get the uh, link of that profile image and we uh, from the firebase storage and we are storing it inside the string type variable which is download url and now is the time to store this uh, link or you can say this url in the firebase database so by using the root ref which is basically a reference to our app okay if i show you if you come here above then this is basically a root reference a database reference so what we're gonna do as you know it is we are storing inside the users node in our database so you can say dot child use dot child current user id which is the id of the current user dot child and we want to give it a key name which will be image and now we have to set the value so we can say set value and it is stored inside the download url dot add on complete listener new on complete listener make sure to put a semicolon here and now here we can say if task is successful then it means that the image is stored inside the firebase database so for that we can display a toast message first to the user and that message will be image save in database successfully and after that we can display the error message to the user so for that we can say else string message equals to task dot get accept dot to string so it will get the message of the error that is what kind of error occurs and now we have to display it to the user so we can say error colon and let's display that message so yeah that's it and now if you want you can add a progress dialog here so let's add a progress dialog for the beauty of to increase the beauty of this app so we can say progress dialog let's call this as loading bars and now here in our initialize field method which we call in the on create method here we can say a loading bar progress dialog this now come down and here if the result code is equals to result ok then here we can display the uh, progress dialog to the user so first we have to set a title for it it will be upload or instead of that we can call this as set profile image dot set message and the message will be please wait your profile image is updating loading bar dot set cancel on touch outside false and then we can display that so you can say loading bar dot show and now if the image is stored inside the firebase database under the node users then we can dismiss the loading bar 
dot dismiss and in case of any failure we can also dismiss the loading bar so you can say loading bar dot dismiss and also here down below we can dismiss the loading bar if the image is not stored inside the firebase storage so now let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and you can see this is our firebase database and let's test this okay so i will go to the settings and let's set a profile image now click select image so now you can flip the image if you want but i will directly crop it okay so let's crop the image and now i will click on crop and here you can see set profile image please get profile image updated and here you can notice image save in database successfully and now if i expand this then you can see at uh, muhammad ali and here is the image reference okay you can see this this is the uh, image reference and now if i go to the fire uh, firebase storage then here you can see this is the image okay so we have uh, successfully saved the image in the firebase database now is the time to retrieve and uh, i mean to display that image here on the settings activity so how we can do that for that uh, here we have uh, our retrieve user info method which we created in the previous video tutorials i hope you remembered and if you scroll down then this method is here okay which is this one so you can see the reference to the database and here i told you guys that once we store the image in the firebase database then we will retrieve it okay so we are retrieving the image here by using the data snapshot which is basically the link to the user's node and the current user that is for which user we are going to update the profile image so here uh, this is the key name if i show you then this one okay image and then we are getting the value of that key okay and we are storing inside this retrieve profile image now is the time to uh, display that image to the user on this here on the settings activity so how we can do that for that we will be using a picasso library so this is the picasso library okay first of all let me tell you this link will be available in the description down below you can simply click on that and it will redirect you to here so in order to use the picasso library for displaying the pictures from the firebase database what you gonna do first of all scroll down here and here we have this latest version of the picasso library so you can simply copy this go to the android studio and here we have build our gradle module app click here and come here and let's paste that library here okay which is this one click sync now so sync successfully now let's go back here and if you come here above here we have this method okay to display the image so you can simply copy this from here and now here we can pass that first of all uh, you can see it is now synced successfully now okay i mean our app is uh, the gradle uh, running i mean the gradle build running is completed successfully so now here you can see we have our this picasso so you can import this picasso class okay and now let me tell you that this here when we say dot load here we need to provide uh, the link to our database which is stored inside this retrieve profile image so you can simply copy this and pass that inside this load and dot into means that is on which thing you want to display that so for that we have an image view if i show you we have this image circle image view which is user profile image so here we can pass that user profile image so yeah that's it and now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully let's go to the settings activity and here we go you can see that the profile image is retrieved successfully let's change another profile so i can select john cena picture and now let's crop this image and here you can see profile image uploaded successfully you can see that so in this way we have successfully uh, completed the settings activity and we have allowed a user
to uh, select any profile image from his mobile phone gallery and upload that image in the Firebase storage and then in the Firebase database and then we retrieve the profile image and we display it back to the user here on the settings activity. So yeah, that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel Coding Cafe. Thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.